Dear friends, welcome back to Civil Conclave Presentations. Today we are going to discuss about the basic skills required to become a successful engineer at the project. What are engineering skills? The talents required to be a successful engineer include a combination of both hard and soft skills. They allow an engineer to perform the labor of the position and also work with co-workers to operate as a unit efficiently. Examples of the engineering skills. No matter the industry, a diverse range of skills is necessary to excel as an engineer. Here is a sampling of some of the most common skills employers look for. Problem solving, computer science, industry skills, pressure management, teamwork, creativity, structural analysis, communication, attention in details, educational commitment, data modeling, leadership. Now we go about in detail what I mentioned in the captain items. Technical skills. A decent civil engineer should be outfitted with a specialized aptitudes, for example, distinguishing proof and tackling of structural designing issues, top to bottom comprehension of plan methods and working with the gates, drawings and models, just as CAD programming, utilization of MS Excel in civil engineering, etc. A portion of the should have specialized aptitudes include quantity surveying, estimation, project building, bar bending schedule, construction project management. Okay, this is one of the image of how to do yet develop your te technical skills. Project management. Assessment just as appropriate distribution of work in a given venture and simultaneously generating legitimate consistency inside the relevant laws, guidelines and principle is one of the vital part of a structural designer. To productively play out of the employment as a structural designer, venture the board abilities are vital. Communication skills. One of the most soft after expertise in project engineering is the capacity to impart successfully being a site engineer. You are needed to speak with both administration, customers and also laborers to the field. In such a circumstances, you should have the option to plainly convey thoughts and provide guidance leaving no vagueness. Further, you ought to likewise have the option to tune in an advantage from the thoughts of others in the group. When working in designing, you will frequently have to examine plans or plans with others. The capacity to unmistakably import is a basic collective work. It is especially significant when working with a non-engineer. As the engineer should take specialized data and pass it on unmistakably to those without cutting edge specialized information. Thusly, progress and choices are perceived by everybody included. Model Met week by week with the chiefs and division directors to examine the status of all progressive designing tasks, clarify current activities in wording that all in participation could comprehend and conveyed refreshes and arranged advancement for the forthcoming week. Integration, sorry, imagination and creativity. 
regularly when endeavoring to discover an answer for a designing issue you might not have a direct involvement in indistinguishable issue or need in these circumstances an innovative brain can consolidate relative involvements in better approaches to make an answer for the issue model built a tweaked control for use with a table saw to permit the carpentry group to all the more effectively make the required bits of the wood fundamentally lessening development time for each venture from more extensive perspective the function of a civil engineer is to apply the engineering standards to create arrangement inside the development climate in such a circumstances innovativeness turns into unavoidable piece of the cycle an employing profession should have the option to decide whether you are equipped for a proceeding as an engineer in the event that you don't have the direct involvement with the field survey which of your abilities are generally pro- pertinent and future them in your earlier design positions leadership skills civil engineers are responsible for the outcomes of the projects which are managed by them therefore it is necessary for the civil engineer especially the ones working at managerial positions to have significant leadership skills when overseeing planners technologists technicians contractors and surveyors this involves the ability to effectively plan and prioritize delegate duties when necessary manage time effectively make decisions with confidence and authority and most importantly motivate the members of the team an engineer with the ability to motivate others is an especially valuable member of any staff and is an existing prospect for any hiring manager example oversaw the creation of the housing development working in close conjunction with the construction team to ensure all plans were followed and executed satisfactorily problem solving identifying problems and finding solution is a key aspect of a civil engineering job when some problem arises every person involved in the project looks upon the engineer for guidance and resolution therefore it is an important that a civil engineer is able to identify and solve the problems in a efficient way a large part of engineer job is assessing a situation identifying a problem and then finding solution employers will want to see that you are capable of handling obstacles in your daily work organization skills monitoring and evaluating the progress of the work is one of the key responsibility of a civil engineer a civil engineer is required to ensure that the staff in compliance with the project plans design documents and other rules and regulation associated with the project this also involves a lot of a documentation and therefore it is necessary for a civil engineer to organize project information manage team members and allocate resources in an efficient manner computer science no matter what field of engineering you are working in it is likely that you will be required to use computers to do your job effectively skills like programming are valuable across a broad range of engineering discipline and are appealing to prospective employers attention in detail tender loving care is another key aptitude fundamental for a structural architect on occasion it is additionally reinforced 
part of the set of working responsibility as we probably our structural designing is about subtleties and a flawlessness a little error in such a manner can prompt huge dangers in task just as the provision of a structural design time management at the point when your occupation requires you to do a ton of errands all day consistently time the executives turn into your key to progress particularly when you are needed to chip away at different activities wait the executives designing task can be testing so an applicant should be dependable under pressure by featuring your capacity to convey in troublesome circumstances you can make yourself speaking to likely bosses interest to low it is said that obsolescence rate of technology is 60 percentage this means if you are not upgrading yourself at least 60 percentage you are become obsolete therefore it is important for a civil engineer to acquire new skills this could be done by attending workshop certification program as well as practical training programs teamwork few engineering projects will see an engineer working on their own without core workers or outside professionals teamwork skills are essential for ensuring you can cooperate with a teammate to succeed as a unit and perform to highest combined ability example worked alongside a team of five engineers to develop a new body design increase aerodynamics and improve overall fuel economy thank you for watching this presentation kindly subscribe like and share which will motivate me for a further good presentations in case of any queries do not hesitate to write to me the response shall be at the earliest courtesy of images is google and various articles from wikipedias and various books contact me civil conclave at the gmail.com or at my telegram group ask srini telegram group the link is as follows kindly subscribe like and share so that i can get motivated and give you further more valuable presentation thank you for watching once again kindly subscribe